it's going to be a big loss. It's a landmark basically for Curly's. Curly's been here forever. A fire in the heart of downtown Colon destroys three of the city's historic buildings. We take you live to the scene. Plus new developments in the death of a 75 year old woman who likely died from carbon monoxide poisoning. And police say a man pretended to be a police officer to get sex for free. News Channel 3 Live at 5 starts right now. Live, local, breaking news. This is News Channel 3 covering West Michigan live at 5. Hello, West Michigan. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Tillotson. I'm Andy Dominiani. Right now, crews are on the scene of a big fire in St. Joseph County. This fire already destroyed three historic buildings in downtown Colon. More than eight fire departments responded and firefighters have been working there all day long. News Channel 3's Ryan Duffy has been downtown Colon since just after this fire broke out. He is live now with the latest on the scene. Ryan. Andy, fire crews are still hard at work here now seven hours after this fire started and you can see they have now brought in some demolition equipment to go ahead and start tearing down parts of these buildings. They are from time to time still seeing some hot spots in there and you can see how it happened. The fire started in the middle here in Mancino's restaurant and then spread out from there. As the smoke started to clear, people who live in Colon were coming to terms with losing three of the buildings in the heart of their downtown. It's a big blow to us. Yeah. I hope they rebuild, but you, you just never know. The fire started around 10 in the kitchen of Mancino's restaurant and Curly's Bar. The staff inside was about to open for the day. Dan Earls owned the restaurant for 29 years and says he still can't believe it's gone. It's a shock. It's no, no two ways about it. It's a shock. It's been our livelihood. We've raised four children while owning it, and uh, it's a shock. Fire crews from throughout the area did the best they could, but the old buildings that are connected burn quickly. Very bad for the town. It really is. It's going to be a big loss. It's a landmark, basically, for Curly's. Curly's been here forever. It's always sad when you have a major fire in town. We've had lots of them. But um, it takes away some of the uh, mystique, I guess, of the town itself. David Farrell with the Colon Historical Society says the loss will be hard for the small town to recover from. It will make a lot of things different here in town, that's for sure. And as has been the case all day, there's been a lot of people here in downtown Colon watching firefighters work. There were no injuries at all in this fire, but we know they used so much water here that schools in Colon actually let out early at 1.30 because of low water pressure, and city officials were asking people to try and conserve water. On News Channel 3 at 6, we'll talk more with the owner of Mancino's, where this fire started, on what he plans to do next. Reporting live in Colon, Ryan Duffy, News Channel 3. Ryan,